Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your Valentine's Day special. We are going to be looking at what you can expect in the lead up to Valentine's Day. So what can happen on or before um, Valentine's Day here for you in your love situations. And we'll see what the tarot cards can predict here for you. So this can be for all water signs watching. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or to the cross watchers dealing with one of these signs. Let's jump into the reading and see what's coming up for you. Um, what you can expect, okay, on or before Valentine's Day. Okay, so strong Scorpio energy has come up uh, for the water signs, but also Leo. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio and a Leo, you are connecting with this person on Valentine's Day. Uh, this sign is coming up very prominently here. So, okay. These major arcanas, the hangman, the death card, the strength card are all pointing to potentially a past situation. So for a lot of you um, water signs watching, the past is resurfacing on your Valentine's Day. So potentially you are spending Valentine's Day with an ex-lover or an ex-partner. So you may hear from this person. They may even get you something here like a gift. Uh, there is something about a new chapter that's coming from the past because the death is like things... The death card is like things that have passed, past connections, past love flames, especially anything to do with like exes. I also feel like um, this is someone from your past potentially still still having feelings for you water signs and letting you know like it's a secret that they have. So I feel like there's a secret that's coming out on Valentine's Day. It may or may not be connected to this past lover. Um, it could be the person that you're dealing with now, but either way, the death cut is like secrets that are coming out that need to be known here as well. So what I get from this is that uh, someone is ready to reveal a massive secret about themselves here to you. And it's coming from a very vulnerable place. Um, I do feel like it's someone that you haven't heard from in a while. So if it's not an ex-partner, it's someone that you sort of gave things a rest with that Four of Swords. Maybe you both got busy, sort of life took you in different places. And then all of a sudden... What a romantic, beautiful time of the year for this person to come right out and confess that they have feelings for you or they still have feelings for you or they're still connected in some magical way here. Um, some of you are hearing from someone that's long distance, maybe with the two of pentacles, okay, someone that's foreign uh, or like an online connection. So I think the strongest messages here are ex-lovers, long distance lovers and foreign lovers that are coming up around you. I do feel like the start of a relationship is also taking place here. So I feel like that Ace of Pentacles, there's someone offering you stability. Water signs, it's going to be up to you if you want to take it or leave it, but the offer is going to be there. Now notice that there's two infinity symbols, which I think is a very auspicious sign. Um, the reason why is that the infinity symbol is like repetition. So it's also like um, repeating a cycle. So this is why I get like the past rebirth. Um, I really feel like a lot of you guys are hooking back up with an ex here. You'll be on out on a date together. You'll see each other. You'll reconnect. Maybe you'll do like a cute little online um, date. You know, if you can't see each other, if you're long distance, for example, you might choose to have a glass of wine together or share a meal together over the phone. Like there's something really romantic that's going to come from this. Um, but it's like the notion of forever, right? So in a way, I feel like this Valentine's Day could mark a new cycle, a new chapter. That's like the promise of forever. I also get a conversation about the long-term future is going to come up. Um, and I feel like this is someone's way of telling you that they want to be serious with you. You might have waited for this for a long time with that hangman reversed. Um, I do feel like I also foresee someone um, admitting some mistakes here to you. You could also be... Uh, admitting your mistakes, mistakes that you've made in a past relationship, mistakes that you've made in the recent past or currently that seem to be around you. And um, I feel like it's a message of had they known better, they would have done better and vice versa. This could also be for you. Had you known better, you would have done different, you know? So um, I think that's sort of like a lesson that's coming up here with that nine of wands. But 
overall I feel like there is this like pleasant surprise uh, that you perhaps weren't expecting water signs and it's coming from this person and it's coming from their heart um, I really feel like there's a drop in ego and like this openness that that death card brings and I feel like with the Queen of Swords I definitely see you in contact with someone here and I feel like there's a very important conversation that's going to take place um, and it's a vulnerable conversation because that death card's really standing out to me. So it's a it's a very sensitive topic for this person. Uh, and I feel like they are ready to open up about their past maybe or some skeletons that they have in the closet. This is also maybe like a coming out of some kind. Someone might be coming out with their sexuality here. And they may be confessing that they have feelings for you. So this could be someone that's orbiting you. Maybe you work e with each other, you are online social media, maybe they're your housemate, but there, there could be some residual feelings um, coming from someone that's sort of coming out of the closet here as well. So uh, this is powerful because it could heighten this Valentine's Day energy even more. And it like, will bring you closer with this person. So you might be really surprised um, by what's going on here so you might even have several options this valentine's i feel like there could be two different connections but one you're going to feel more closer to one sort of is pulling at your heartstrings more than the other now water signs you can be very sensitive and very emotional you know it's one of the most beautiful things about you and especially about you as a partner as a lover um as an ex your ability to attach your ability to make moments so special and emotional and I feel like this Valentine's Day is going to be no exception there's going to be some very powerful moments here so some of you may have uh two connections around you but one could be around the one is around the past or one is more special than the other okay one is more like okay it could be new it could be that you're in the early stages of seeing someone there may be an attraction there may be some flirting some banter um but the other is more like you have a history or the other pulls at your heartstrings more it's stronger because it's an ace it's like you had a vision of something very serious with that person uh, or you still may want something very serious with that person you may fear it you may still be you know have a guard up um, towards that ace look at that nine of uh, the nine of one sorry to the ace so you may have some sort of guard up but I feel like something that you've hoped for, because we see hope and prayer, so something that you've hoped for, you know, an ex returning, this new connection mm -hmm. happening, you know, having that choice and the freedom of two different conversations, or someone opening up um, about their past or revealing that secret, something that you've hoped and you've wished for, uh, water signs, is coming to fruition this Valentine. So I feel like you are in for a very pleasant um time and I feel like this opening up is only going to bring you closer with this person so um, you'll have to let me know how that goes but I do wish you all the best water signs Cancer Pisces Scorpio have a beautiful Valentine's Day lots of love and until next time bye for now